Yo, what's up? Welcome to Chopping It Up with Quan. Uh, this is me, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a real <laughs> giving the real questions that the real people want to know. Here today, I got my man, Nathan Wade, looking smooth. <laughs> yeah. What was your first thought when you had the affair with Fonny? Come public between you and her. I don't label it uh, an affair. Wifey or? Uh, D.A. Willis is a respectable mother, a, a brilliant legal mind. Right. Um, we spent countless hours preparing this case, investigating this case. I see y'all happen countless hours, and uh, I need a foot rub, and you, you know what I mean? She rub your foot, <laughs> nah, and you like, nah, nah, here, nah. let me give you a massage, and all of a sudden, pump, pump, we up on this desk. Man. No, not even, close. not even close, not even close. Great. She question. liked it in you or you liked it in her? Well, th that's a great question, right? So um, during the course of the investigation, we would meet early mornings, weekends, spend full days. Um, How can you not hit that? Consulting. So How can right? you not? <laughs> we spending that much time together. We doing everything. We might as well. Well, in terms of workplace romances, yeah. how many places have you worked? I probably worked like three or four places and everywhere I went. It was a mess. Well, you know. So she your boss? So you on that indecent proposal no, shit? No. You on that Demi Demi? What's that white girl name that married to the um yeah. dude from uh, Die Hard? So that's a common misconception. Disclosure. Right? Right? You on that disclosure shit? No, that's a common misconception. She's not my boss. She's never been my boss. You he wasn't he too? Right. Right. She ain't he to you. No, I was a contract attorney. She was more analogous to a client to me. So you're saying she was a client? Yes. Right. So you, was... you served her well? I did. I did my job. And let's talk about some of the successes I did while I was I think we talked about the, job. the successes you no, did we, we, the we, job. No, we didn't. We're talking about uh, securing an indictment, talking about getting uh, uh, people to enter pleas. Right, enter pleas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> In a police. We're we're talking, gotta, in a police. We're, we're talking about other jurisdictions even following suit. So let me ask you, when old girl was like, hey, babe, you want to be in charge of this prosecution of the president of the United States uh, who did this insurrection? Did you think, like, uh, this could get messy? Or you was like, nah. I'll be all right. We did not have that type of relationship right. um, at, at the at the outset, and we were interviewing other people uh -huh. for the position. What position was it? It was only it was the position of Which special position? prosecutor. Did that position look like this? <laughs> or did that position look like this? So, no. After Wade resigned as special prosecutor, Trump's law dogs still tried to use their relationship to get the case thrown out. They compelled his ass to testify and grilled this hard. Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever? Both the homie had answers. Ever? Ever. No. He's never booking a cabin. I booked lots of cabins. My question is, who are you booking all these cabins? So, so, so. How many district attorneys you be smashing in cabins? Zero. Is it Airbnb or Verbo? Where you be getting all these cabins from? That's what my people want to know. Where do I get them? All right, so some people saying this ordeal might have ruined the best chance to hold Trump accountable for trying to end democracy. Now, what would you say to all the haters out there who can't get laid? <laughs> well, I, I don't know what the haters are thinking, mm -hmm. um, but what I will say is under my leadership, we successfully secured um, a valid legal indictment, the charging document. All right, young black man, Need a role model. What's your advice to kids in the hood that's out there that want to grow up and have their dick potentially in democracy? <laughs> that's some lethal shit you to ask me. We're talking. We're talking about. <laughs> I don't know 
that I have advice for any young black men mm. to have workplace romances. Okay. Um, what I do have advice for young black men is, is simply this. You can do whatever you put your mind to. I am a black father, um, was a black husband. I took care of my family. I took care of my children. My children are young adults now. Black fathers are, are, are positive. I take pride in being a black man. That's a t-shirt. I'm gonna put that shit on a t-shirt, sell it on the corner in Harlem. You know what money you make? You seem like a free-spirited man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how many diddy parties you went to? <laughs> <laughs> nah, none. How many did you go to? I went to several, but I left early. <laughs> this ain't about me. I want to thank you for sitting down with me and answering the real questions for me and my people, all the hundreds or possibly billions of Quan fans out there. It's been a pleasure. So I appreciate you, my man, for real. He hit it. He hit it. <laughs> he did it.